Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. G'day you gorgeous guavas, welcome to Super Mario Sunshine. As a result of a community poll, it turns out you all love Super Mario Sunshine. So that is what will be taking place after Jack and Daxter. But let's just continue on with this cutscene and see what crazy adventure Mario and the gang will seem to get up to now. be getting really bad heat stroke if she's a ma hallucinating a shadow mario character me, but... huh? all right she must be really having bad heat stroke with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat master mario if you would cross over to that shore and find some assistance <laughs> aye aye toadsworth let's go Princess, I'm trying to find assistance for you. Please wait under the shade. I know you have a bad feeling about this. Well, that's what happens when you stand out in the sun for too long. You just have... hallucinations. Okay, annoyingly, for some reason, I don't know why frames seem to be dropping for me, so let us look at the monitor so I can actually play this. And in the meantime, let's get this crazy... watering can of a device. Power up. Complete. You talk. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use Tutorials. Water from my if you press the button, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the button. Instructions complete. Proceed. Thank you, Flood. Finally, you actually let me move around. Mario. Okay, well, I guess that works, but anyway... But for someone very excited, what do you have to say? Help? Help you? You crazy? We're the ones who need help. Take that water pump and clean the airstrip, you... You... What do you want about? Huh? Mm. Yeah, I can intimidate as well. Mm. Hey, no, oh, never mind. You have anything for us, mate? Huh, have we met somewhere before? Um, no. 
I feel like I've seen you somewhere recently too. Uh, no you haven't. No, no. We're all good. Let's go away. Yes. Okay, let's clean you. My syrup. Thank you. That, that's not what I want. Oh, whatever. Let's just... Can we clean him this way? There we go. Now, how about some... Thanks. Okay, we're back with the video. Far out. That actually took a while. Yeah, apologies for all that. Although, what do you mean it's my fault? How dare you, mate? Well, the reason for the very long sort of wait between starting this and continuing is... My wife just received the photos from our wedding, so we were just going through that and there was like 900 photos sent overall, so it took a fair while to actually see them all. And we're like, far out, these are a lot of photos. <laughs> oh my heavens, that was a very long time. <laughs> Good lord. But anyway, I completely overlooked what explaining what we had to do for that. Well, once you just start shooting the big pile of paint-like goop in the middle, eventually that paint piranha plant will appear. All you need to do, wait for it to open its mouth, shoot some water into it, repeat that three times, and eventually you'll complete it. Hmm, quite an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? I am flood, glad to meet you. For God's sake, it's acting like it's such a serious offense I've committed when I haven't done anything. Well, I guess arriving at Al Delfino would be an offense, I suppose. Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the Shine Gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold this sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Why are we getting sentenced to community? Adjourned. What? Why are we sentenced to community service? I love how Mario is sitting there so this peacefully, though. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution. But the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. Go straight that way. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Mate, the only thing you'll be watching is freaking guava filled donuts. Okay, the thing I don't understand. 
somehow we get judged. Okay, first up, we... That's very close up. Okay, first up, that is one very dapper looking man right there. But more importantly... Why the heck... Yellow Toad, oh, you look so stressed. Aww. Wow, your safe water vacation is crazy. I agree, it is. Uh, I mean, we could just go straight ahead, like right over there, but before we do anything relating to the very first level, we are actually going to get the. We're going to be getting two shine sprites right off the bat. All you need to do spray a little hidden portion of the sand near that big ass lighthouse to reveal your first shine. To get there, well, as Flood ever so lovingly explained, we can switch between nozzles. This is your standard shooting, well, your standard what I call the water hose. You press X, you will switch to the hover nozzle. Which, obviously, as the word implies, lets you hover. And that lets us get our very first shine of Delfino Plaza. And officially the second shine in the game. Now there is 120 shines. And granted, I've never... Well firstly, I've never beaten Mario Sunshine, which I am immensely surprised about. But also for the fact, I've actually never 100 percent in the game as well, which is kind of obvious. Considering I've never beaten it, so why would I be able to 100% something you've never actually beaten? Way to go, Mario. <laughs> Just jumped in the water right there. So again, we've got to make our way back to here, near the lighthouse over there. Can Because we noticed a green pipe along these, like, mini islands. And way in the distance over there is the airport strip. We cannot go there yet, so instead let's go into the pipe. And it wouldn't be a Mario game without a giant slide. The good thing about it is we have our flood. And you can actually skip this whole thing. You just do that. Well, actually, we... Let's just continue on, shall we? <laughs> Oh, please, at least for the love of Christ, please make it, Mario. Thank you. It is possible to actually make this whole jump, well, that whole thing without actually going down the entire slide. Now, I'm not that skilled. In fact, I actually just tried it while doing that, but I failed spectacularly. So, instead, we will do it how I did it and get ourselves shine number three. And just every time you get a shine, it takes you back to Delfino Plaza, so we'll be seeing this every single time we get a shine. And thankfully for us, there's a few shines we can actually get before even needing to start the very first level. Which is where this big ass goop, like, isolates. So for now, we're going to continue on. All we need to do is make our way back up here because we have to make our way towards that bell. That's not even... Oh, well, as long as it gets me to... That's <laughs> not... Oh, my heavens, thank you. Now, back in the... Do that. Oh, I'm not even doing it. Yes, I am. Thank you. Oh my god, clean the bell, please, Mario. Mario, why? <laughs> okay, for that dive, I'm going to give you about a 7.9. I'll meet you all back at that bell. And we are back at the bell. Instead of what I was doing before, if you... There's some, like, sort of move called... Like... There's actually not an official title for it, but you're able to do basically like a mega spray instead. Which lets you clean a huge batch of areas. Well, a huge batch of the area. I'll see if I can do it here. That. 
It uses your water a lot though, so be careful when actually doing it. Now to actually get the shine in the bell tower, if we just go into that sewer... Yeah, that manhole we went to before, which is here. It connects to the bell tower, so we just make our way through the manhole, jump out. And we will get ourselves shine number four. There we go. Again, we will continue on. We will do that. Yeah, again, it just shows you Delfino Plaza. Hey, I mean, I wanted to go up. Thank you. There we go. Now we are going to make ourselves, or make our way, towards the very opposite end of Delfino Plaza. Thank God, I wanted to actually go. Oh, you crumb bum. Well, we can make our way across. The annoying thing about this way, though, is... We get to the area we need to. We have to have our... We basically have to get onto those trees. And we can get it. We'll get to there. We have to have our triple jump land on this little platform. You'll see what I mean when I say the problem with it. That you... Please, I want you to... <laughs> Don't take forever, dude. Uh... That was horrible. What the hell was that? Mario, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Dude. What the, was that? <laughs> Why is it so hard, bro? Oh, my lord. Mario, please. We're getting more... Oh my heavens. Seems several people have gone missing. Yeah, cool. We're not interested. Oh my... It's a triple jump, you... I don't care about the Delfino Baza statue right now. Stop that! Okay, please! I will get this, you little crumb bum. That wasn't even a good attempt. Mario, come on! Why? <laughs> God's sakes! I'll start calling you a durian fruit, which is... Apparently they smell. I've never had one, so I can't really confirm nor deny. It's just based on what I've heard, and I... Mari! Oh my good lord, dude. There's a pipe up there. Mario! Dude! You'd honestly think I'm going insane. The irritating thing is to land on the platform. Do you have to be this difficult? You always just... Seemingly walk off the edge. Okay, yes, it's a very short platform. It's essentially the width of your shoes. But it's big and it's still big enough for you to try and jump. Good enough. You freaking doofus. Mario, why? <laughs> I'm actually getting sad. Two hours later. I've seen the Debs alert like 10 times. <laughs> I don't care, people are missing. I don't care. I bet the Grand Pianta statue in Bianco Square, which is home to the level of Bianco Hills. I don't care. I just want this triple jump. Oh my good lord, finally. If I fall, oh my god, you're gonna. You're gonna hear me cry. Mario? Oh, oh my god, Mario, please. The irritating thing because. Come on, come on. Yes, thank you. Oh my good bloody. Wow, that's a lot of grass. The frustrating bit. You see some jumping plants around? 
Do not, I repeat, do not actually try and squirt them. The irritating thing, you have to. You have to do what they call the mega squirt in order to get. Well, in order to sort of stun them so you can get the red coin. Annoyingly, it's the only way to actually do it because as you saw before, they will just jump into the ground, meaning you cannot do anything about it. As you can just see, there's a watermelon. If I stuffed my... Okay, I... Oh, thank God, if I had... How do you get out? Oh, thank God. Okay, so... You can ground pound the watermelon so you have a better chance of actually getting out of this square, or just do the side jump like I did to do that. Now again, do that... They call the Mega Squirt. Stunning. You can jump or ground pound. I just prefer to do a ground pound in order to get that. You can thankfully just jump on that to get another one. Don't spray them, otherwise you, if you spray them off the edge, they will not respawn. Okay, there's this guy who's on fire, which just... Oh my lord, where are you, dude? Thank you. Now, the time it's taken me to actually get here... Thank you, can you actually stop jumping for joy, please? Thanks, a bundle. There we go. So that is red coin number six. Again, mega Not backflip. Do the hat. Ah, oh, for these, you can just jump on them. I didn't mean to actually spin, but whatever. Now, to get the last... Yo, dude, can you stop actually... Thank Dude, stop walking, please. Let me talk to you. Thank you. Searching for the red bird of happiness for 38 years. See, so that's basically how long it took me to get here. Well, the thing for him... ...is the fact that the red bird is, as you can see, it's over there. So if I'm lucky, and I pray I am... Get back here! Oh, <gasps> you champ! Yes, give me that shine, you little beaut! Well, I've never actually been to this area, so thank heavens. Now, you may think I know what I'm talking about, but only because of the fact I've been watching another Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play from Psycho Plays. He's, he's basically my bible when it comes to Sunshine. Because he's done a 100% series on it, so if I ever get stuck, I'll know who to call as if it's Ghostbusters. So anyway, we've gotten that shine. Now let's at least... No, actually, we can go to another level. We don't even have to... ...make our way to the first level yet. Yeah, I wish to get up, thank you. So... We are actually going to be cleaning that shine. Well, yeah, that little shine. What you need to do... If you go down to this, like, manhole, I did not get enough height because, as you saw somewhat, do that, jump up, and then start using your hover nozzle, you can actually make your way to here. There we go. Annoyingly for us, the shine is all the way up there, so we cannot actually get it just yet. So to get that little shine, we will have to make our... I did not want to do that at all. Because of enough jumping space... If we jump all the way out... That got us nowhere, never mind. Well, anyway, what I'm trying to do... There's a pipe up the top of this thing. Up the shine gates. I'm trying to make my way up there, but for some reason, I can't seem to do that right now. But I'll alternate that. 
do that. Make our way across. Oh, forget it. Fine, you wanna be like that, Mario? Forget it. You wanna be a kaputz? Let us at least clean the goop. So we can sort of make some progress in the story. Do that, because it's fun spinning around while you're watering. And due to the power of cutscenes, we are immune from damage. Anyway, we're going to clean this. It's essentially the exact same sort of boss fight as we had in the... Had in the airport strip. Again, you spray the goo, the piranha plant thing will come out. We have to activate this cutscene, because after completing this portion, it'll let us go Princess into the Milk first level. On the statue's head. I'm speaking, Toads, with how rude. Alright, we'll let the cutscene play out, and then I'll explain what's going on. Again, the princess gets captured by someone or something. Well, anyway, what we're meant to do, we chase the princess. I'm not really a criminal, it's more of a shadow goo. Well, we'll save those piantas. Just line up your shot, and then eventually you defeat the feet. Well, there's. They don't. Tools like that? Dude, you have a magic paintbrush. Um, where are you going? Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, we'll speak to the damsel in distress. You saw that person? Yes, you did. Anyway, just chase him down. He will make his way towards... You know, what is he doing? You can't actually spray him while he's like that, so just chase him along. Eventually, he will go into the statue by... by so. He has the power of creating levels. Okay, well, we have to do this in order to unlock other levels, so... We're not actually going to be doing anything in this stage yet. Yeah, yeah, cool. Alright, that's enough of Bianco Hills, we ain't doing that. Instead, we're gonna be doing that. We've done that, we're fine. I do not see the best toad, which is the blue toad, so therefore you shall all get ignored. We've done that. For this, actually... I want to see if I'm right about something, because there should be another Pianta. Where is that big lug? He is there. Wonderful. What we need to do... Well, first I will make my way towards that guy. Before I do anything, I'm going to spray that, uh, let's spray that to get ourselves a coin. Why they disappear in about two seconds, I have no idea. I want to line myself up, because... As you can see in the distance, he will more than likely throw us diagonally into here, so we get ourselves another shine. You can get so many shines without even getting into the very first level of the game. So we've done that. And I feel now is a good time. Actually, we shall try to get one more shine before we end the video here. All we need to do again. Okay, before I actually go on about that, a neat little trick to help you navigate the island, if you just spray water in front of you and then quickly slide, you will pick up momentum like no tomorrow. And all throughout Delfino Plaza and the levels, there will be these blue things. They are known as blue coins. There's 240 of them in the game. We will be collecting them all. And you may be thinking, uh, Toach, you haven't completed the game at all, so how are you going to be able to do that? Well, my dear viewers, I don't know. 
but I'll figure that out as we progress through the game. <laughs> now, if you unlock Delfino Plaza, uh, not Delfino Plaza, if you unlock the first level, Bianco Hills, and you have about five shines, which we... Six. We can enter this. This is home to the crate guy. He is quite crateful for us to do this. All we need to do is break every single crate within 30 seconds. You have plenty of time. And if you can get some in corners, you can break two at once. Yeah, see, we have 15 seconds. I'm not even that stressed. Alright, I'm getting a bit stressed. Alright, come on, Mario. Mario, please. There we go. Even so. We're doing that. For breaking the crate guy's crates, we get ourselves another shine. He has another one, I believe, so we shall be back. We'll break his crates, and then we will get ourselves another shine. So, crate guy, what do you have for us today? Alright, we've broken his crates again, and we get ourselves another shine for that. So, we've gotten all these shines. We'll quickly get this shine, we'll make our way back to Delfino Plaza. We will at least unlock the first proper level we will be doing in the next video. And then we will call it a day. And for people interested in following along to collecting the blue coins, I will be collecting the blue coins throughout the series, not as its own video, but... If you do get confused on where blue coins are located, I will be putting chapters in videos specifying like where blue coins are and everything so you don't have to worry about that but anyway to unlock this thing again it's similar to how you've been doing it throughout the game so far all you need to do spray the goo actually this time you can't do it just three times and that's it he will come back for a round two It's the same thing, nothing different. Basically two rounds of three, and then we will unlock another lighthouse. We will have the power of cutscenes, preventing us from sustaining damage. And this is where we will be going to trading our blue coins. But we're not going to be going there until much later in the game. But now, we'll unlock the level, and then we will actually end the video here. So. If you've been enjoying the tropical sunshine and the seasons of water, just let me know in the comments below what level you would want me to do in the next video. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching and just stay fruity, my friends. I'll see you all soon.